So let's take a look at Intel Core i7-5500U. It's a Broadwell U series processor. The U series being basically intended for thin laptops and notebooks. Uh, y series is actually for tablets and ultra slim notebook. A U series can also be for ultra low notebooks um, and very thin laptops, but basically. They are 15 watts processor while the Y series are sub 10 watt processors. Uh, looking at the Broadwell, the main change is the tick, which is a change in the process technology from 22 nanometer to 14 nanometer. That basically uh, brings Intel some manufacturing advantage in terms of uh, ability to bring in more transistor in a given die area. So Intel is able to produce more chips in a given wafer and that increases the Intel's profitability but it comes at the cost of uh, one time fabrication uh, half uh, cost. From the user perspective we get better per power performance in terms of getting uh, uh, the same performance at lower uh, power consumption. The Broadwell is basically has slight improvement in the low hanging fruits uh, in processor architecture as well including in improved branch prediction it has bigger buffer size and it also has some new instruction set for cryptography the broadwell also improves uh, the gpu but we will come to that later so coming to the i7 5500u it's a dual core a hyper uh, threading support processor and clock at modestly at 2.4 gigahertz and its clock can uh, raise to 3 gigahertz in turbo mode so given this clock frequency uh, we can think about that it, it's a uh, decent processor from performance performance perspective and in, intel has done a good job in bringing the power consumption down that you are getting a 2.4 gigahertz processor at 15 watts the the power figure has comes from a uh, released and a leaked uh, uh, leaked uh, slide for i7-5500 which shows 2.4 gigahertz and 3 gigahertz frequency and uh, 15 watts of tdp rating you can also see it has 4 mb of l3 cache and uh, DDR3 support up to 1600 uh, megahertz. Uh, coming back to the uh, the GPU, the, the CPU uh, performance, the CPU performance, as we said, it's a five percent, more or less about the same, not more than five percent improvement in the processor performance for the same clock as compared to the Haswell. Uh, graphics is a different story. Intel has, while the CPU does not see any substantial improvement in performance, graphics does. And for the first time, we see a native support for DisplayPort 1.2 and Intel now support DirectX 11.2, making it about then on par with AMD's integrated uh, graphics. So far, Intel lagged behind in providing support for these. So you now have a better chance of having uh, most of the game playable just with the integrated graphics in low setting and we expect that you should also be able to uh, play most of the medium setting games with these graphics. Then HD graphics 5500 that's uh, substantially faster than Haswell counterpart maybe 20 to, uh, 20 to 40% uh, better. So that is the whole deal with Intel Core i7-5500U. Uh, leave your comment section and look for more information in the link in the comment section. Thanks.